Today's Republican Party opposes big government. It's culturally conservative. It usually dominates votes in the South by white voters. However, things weren't always this way. Over the last 160 years or so, the party has made a huge change from the party of Abraham Lincoln to the party of Donald Trump. We must first know when the Republican Party first came into existence. In 1854, seven years before the Civil War there was two parties at this point, the Whigs, and the Democrats. They debated whether the new territory states should allow slavery. While the Democrats were pro-slavery, the Whig Party couldn't agree, so it dissolved in 1854. So, there was a party that was formed, they called it the Republican Party. Abraham Lincoln won the power of the president in 1860 representing the young Republican Party, nonetheless, 11 southern states secede from the Union to form the Confederate States of America in 1861. The North went to war against the South which is known as the Civil War. The outcome of the war was that the northern states won the war as well as abolishing slavery. After a year when Lincoln was assassinated, the party passes the Civil Rights Act of 1866 in which they fight to make sure black men have the right to vote with new laws and amendments. When the government spent money during the war, northern businessmen became rich. They want to hold the power and they also don't believe that fighting for black rights in a mostly white country is the best way to do that even though that they were taking a leadership role for the GOP. Meanwhile, the South treats blacks often violently. Most white Republican leaders and voters felt like they have done enough for black citizens in the South and it was time to emphasize other issues. So, in the 1870s, the party gives up on reforming the South. Let's move on to the next century. The GOP is more like a party for big business, it works well for them since the economy was rising in the 1920s, however, not so much when the economy crashes in 1929 and the Great Depression begins. Democrats like Franklin D. Roosevelt are trying to fight the Depression and better provide for Americans. The Republican Party opposes this rapid expansion, which means that they're in opposition to big government. An identity that still holds to this day. Fast forward to 1964. In 1964, President Lyndon Baines Johnson or LBJ won the election against Republican nominee Barry Goldwater. LBJ signed the Civil Rights Act into law while he was president, while Goldwater opposes it since he thought it expands government power too much. The effect on this being that most white voters, who supported the Democrats, were moving to the Republican Party while black voters decided to support the Democrats instead of the Republicans. As the 21st century starts, America is starting to see a demographic shift in the form of Hispanic immigration both legal and illegal. During the 2012 election, Mitt Romney lost by a landslide against Barack Obama to win the presidency among Hispanic voters. So, the Republican Party is more like a party for white voters in an increasingly non-white country. Republican leaders worry that if they lost Hispanic voters by that much, they lose their chances of winning the presidency, so some key Republicans in the Senate like Marco Rubio collaborate with Democrats on an immigration reform bill that will give unauthorized immigrants a legal status. But there was a huge backlash of the white base of the party, the bill was viewed as amnesty that broke the rules. This has grown a huge mystery of the party which led the party up to nominee, Donald Trump to become elected, a New York businessman who wants to build a wall on the Mexican border.